Happy Monday! Woo! My hope is, is that I'm going to say something that maybe triggers a memory or triggers something within you that makes you think differently and makes you understand other things in life that you maybe are closed off to. Where do you get your positivity? Where do you search for it? Where do you, where do you obtain it? In the morning when I get ready, I look on YouTube and I look for positive meditation music. And so I play it while I get ready to start my day off, literally. What are your thoughts on positivity in the world? <gasps> oh, I am the perfect person to ask this question. Why? Because this is how I live. This is my life. This is what I do. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for a positive lifestyle. You, you asked what we were doing? Yes. <laughs> what we're doing is we're bringing positivity back to the news. Yay! People to be happy and bring love back into this world. Well, you know what we really need? We all just need a big hug. Like this. Like, come here. Oh, yeah. Just like that. It's true. I love Jordan. And I know you're a, lo you're a hugger too. Mm, I so know. <laughs> so I'm curious, fun. like, were you born on the happy side of the street or the sunny side of the street or did you develop this? <laughs> That's a great question. I think probably developed it, you know, mm. like you have your life circumstances. I'm the oldest of three. I took care of my brother and sister. There were hard times for sure. But you know what I think it was? It's so funny. My parents, my mom specifically worked in a, a company that you know, you go to those uh, like mind development classes yeah. or forward thinking classes. And so she had me when at like eight. And so oh, at that age, wow. I was already thinking differently, like think outside the box. One plus one equals three. Doesn't make sense, but they teach you a way to look at life differently. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so I think that just stick with me, yeah. probably. So you struggle in math, you're doing great in life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so true. Why not? But awesome. it might be yeah. a little annoying, but anyway, that's who yeah. I am, so. All right, well, you guys have been texting us your answers to what would be your superpower. What do you wish it would be? And you got some answers for a us? A lot of people yeah. want to be invisible. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, probably okay. so you can infiltrate and all of that kind of things. <laughs> uh, Turn, this one is well timed here from the 425. Turn the negative into something positive. Oh, I love oh, that. That nice. would be a cool superpower. Yeah, we're talking about unconventional. It doesn't have to be a traditional superpower. Right. It can be one that's the most practical for your life. Right. Some people would be probably just to just to do their taxes with a sneeze <laughs> or something like that. Can so, I read one? That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Can I read well, one? Yeah, uh, this is from the 253. I would like my superpower to be a shape shifter because I could be anyone at any time. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Right, and we're talking about all of this stuff because there are are some superheroes mm -hmm. in town right now. And I love what we're doing here on the show because we're building this really cool family uh, socially. Some of you uh, on our Facebook and the Five Hive, so many of you, hundreds of you texting us each and every day. And we're so proud to be building this big family. And that's where we found the star of our very next story. In fact, a mom nominated her son. He sent us a video and full circle moment here as I got to take what we are now calling Lucky Lenny over to meet some of his heroes. There's just something about seeing that look of wonder in a kid's eye when they get to look at their heroes, especially if it's actual superheroes. Marvel Universe of Superheroes is at Mopop here right now. This is the biggest exhibit they've ever had. Over 10,000 square feet, two floors, over 300 items on display, many of which have never been seen before. Iron Man, Spider Man, Cash Man, and more importantly, my trusty sidekick, six year old Super Lenny. Lenny, we've got a lot to see. We better do this in a montage. Yeah. This is it. This is it, the big moment. Look, Lenny, historical photographs. Wow. The best superpower to have would be muscles. Yeah. Yeah? And maybe to be able to fly. Especially in Seattle. Have you seen the traffic out there, Lenny? Yeah. Even Captain America had a young apprentice, Lenny. Are you prepared to inherit the powers? Yeah. He's, oh, okay. He just says, yeah, all right. <laughs> so would you want to be like this strong? No, like Hulk strong. Like Hulk strong? Yeah. Don't let Thing hear you talking about Hulk like that. I just want to prepare you for what you're about to see. Because who is your favorite superhero? Black Panther. Well, Black Panther is yep. right there. I actually have a Black Panther claw, like exactly like this one, but the claws go out like five inches longer. So the one you have is better than this one? Yeah. What's it like to meet like one of your actual heroes? It feels pretty good. <laughs> you have a good Spider-Man joke? Yeah. Okay, what's your Spider-Man joke? It's pretty funny. So like, sometimes I go like, hey look, Spider-Man's hanging out. 
He's hanging out. He's hanging out right here. Because he's actually hanging. Can I use that joke? Yeah. All right, yes. Hey, um, you know Spider-Man? Yeah. You know how he's hanging from a web all the time? Yeah. He's just hanging out. Did I do it? Yeah. Yes. Good guy, bad guy? Bad guy. How can you tell? Because of his face. Why would he look like that if he was a superhero? What about this face? Good guy, bad guy? Good guy. And what about like this? Bad guy. Bad guy. Yep, you're right. What is he actually doing above you? He's, he's hanging out, isn't he? He's probably just hanging out. <laughs> It's the joke that keeps on giving. <laughs> keeps on giving. By the hammer of Thor, it's... Mjolnir. Thor. We don't know who this is, huh? No. Looks like the person who I usually get tickets to sit right behind at shows, though. Yeah. That's like the worst Iron Man. That's the pretty good, but it's still damaged. And that's like the best version. <laughs> and then... It's so cool. Cash Man. Yeah. I know. Kind of a letdown, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh. Remember how you said you wanted to fly, Lenny? Wish granted. He's only had his superpowers like for a minute. I'm bad at controlling a this. See, who knew being Iron Man would be so hard, huh? Seems like being Iron Man is kind of like imitating a penguin. Yeah. Next time, can you just get out of the screen so it can... Oh, um, I mean kicked me. off the set. Yeah, I'm ruining <laughs> it. Lenny, it's time. You have all the training, and now you have the suit. The people need you, Lenny. Are you okay to defend everybody? You prepared? It's a lot of responsibility, right? Yep. Yeah. I could do this all day. Well, not all day. We'd have stuff for snacks, right? Yeah. Okay. Whew. We should have brought sleeping bags, huh? Yeah. This is like the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. This is it right now? Yeah. We're sharing your coolest moment ever? Yeah. Yes. Uh-oh. It's suiting me up. Keep doing this? Yeah. It'll this suit is too those easy. things. See, I'd get this Iron Man suit, get it Alexa enabled. You'd never even have to leave the house. It'd be like, give me that, give me that, order this. You don't know who this is? No. Can't you tell by no. the hands? No. That's the person who works at the airport and has the planes. That's Tarmac, one of their less popular characters. <laughs> Who's this? Star Lord. It's Chris Pratt, actually. It's close, very close. Ooh, a dramatic staircase. I wonder which one of us is going to get to the top first. I kind of wonder. Doing it. Hydration, man. I'm not tired. No, I'm not tired either. It's good that neither one of us are tired from that. <sighs> I mean, listen, even the music makes me think it's a trap. It's not. And I know it's not. Whoa! Not really. We're fine. Lenny, you got to meet almost all of your heroes. What did you think of this? It was so awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. And you know what? Let's leave in an awesome way. Should we fly out of here? We definitely. All right, here we go. Let's go. We. These special effects are incredible, Lenny. We. Oh, whoa. And our, oh thank you to, uh, our thanks to George Lucas for helping us with those yeah. special effects, <laughs> oh, by the way. The exhibit's super cool. <laughs> Lenny loved it. Big Len was there. His mom was there. Thanks to them. And they connected with us on Facebook yeah. and they submitted that. We took Cute. them. Oh, by the way, the exhibit opens on Friday. Already sold out. But it's going to be here oh, for a shoot. while. So go check it out. It's the biggest kind of yeah. exhibit they've had in a long time. Two floors, 10,000 square feet. It's really cool. How many of those characters did you not know? A lot of them. And I thought, this is perfect because Lenny's there. He's a kid. He'll know all of them. And I would ask him, ah, don't know. You know, <laughs> kids are so honest. Eh, don't know. Don't know that one. Mm, next. <laughs> nah, that was gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was great. It was perfect. Blast. Oh, I tell you, touch me when he said this was the best day. He said it was the best day yeah. of his life, right? And he said it repeatedly, you. too, and he yeah. was just delighted. So <laughs> thank you, Lenny. I yeah. had the best day, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. The best. All right. I guess it's time to go to break now, right? I um, think so. As we do it, though, I want to introduce you to some special guests, reintroduce you to some students at Foster High School. These students are very important because you guys actually train to help other people in emergencies. Uh, this is Dora. She's the one who wanted to be the most vocal. So why do you do CERT training? Um, well, first I find out uh, through Mrs. Aguilas. Um, um, this is an a very important club, like you said. Uh, it's uh, Teen CERT standing for Community Emergency Response Team, uh, meaning we are well trained in any kind of situation, um, whether we can help people psychologically, uh, if they're injured, um, we're well trained, and I just think that's important to have. So you're ready for the big earthquake yes. and for any kind of like road hazards or? Yes. 
Wow. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Wave yeah. to your family and friends. Hey. A lot of people are talking about disaster preparedness, by the way, in our five hive. So we're going to show you how to join in just, just in just a second. So the Five Hive is our way to connect people on social media to do good. And we really rely on our worker bees to spread the best buzz out there. Share a story, give a shout out to someone amazing in your community, or help us amplify a message to make change. We want our Five Hivers to feel inspired, learn something new, and feel more connected to the Take Five show. Find the Take Five group on Facebook or use the hashtag K5Take5 on social.